Hi and welcome to another Caffeination Coffee Review. Uh, we're here to talk today about the regular coffee. Now, regular coffee is a kind of an interesting little uh, idea. It was originally started on Kickstarter. It's by a bunch of people in Grand Rapids, Michigan, who decided that simple is best, and they like shipping things in tube form. You should really check out the Kickstarter video that we're actually going to link in both the blog post and in the uh, comments of the YouTube section. But I have to tell you that I love the, the way that they go about the whole thing, the retro chic thing that they're going, and the fact there is no decaf. There is nothing else that you can pick. It's just regular coffee. So today we tried it out, we brewed it two different ways, uh, again in the double wall Bodum Pavina glasses, so uh, you can see the wonderful little uh, situation that we got going on here. It is an incredibly fragrant cup of coffee, I have to tell you, when I first popped the tin open, it was, you know, it just like sprung out of it, so I knew it was fresh. Uh, since they only offer one type of coffee, I was actually really interested to see exactly what that one type would be. Uh, apparently it's a blend from Guatemala, so, but that's, it's Kind of, that's it. So there is no uh, choices or anything you can go with. Uh, it has a very, very nice fragrant blend. It has a little bit of a woody smell to it. Um, not too overpowering, not too bitter, not too acid. There's like next to no floral notes at all. It's a, it's pretty earthy, pretty uh, down home and uh, easy uh, to drink. The best part about it is there's absolutely no bitterness to it, and there's next to no aftertaste. So when you're drinking it, it's pretty much the perfect cup of diner coffee that you've ever had. Uh, you know, it's like it's like that American standard where you go out, you have a cup of coffee with dinner. It's like the perfect thing that you can imagine. Um, now, the wonderful booklet that they have, which I'm going to show you in a second, is pretty interesting too. But uh, it's kind of interesting to try their espresso as well because. It's a little bit more on the tart side. Uh, it's not quite as good as the uh, the uh, regular drip brewed, or in this case, the long coffee. Uh, I would actually drink an Americano or a uh, regular drip brewed over the espresso. The espresso is not bad. It just tends to emphasize the bitter notes slightly more than uh, the rest of it. But the best part about their regular coffee booklet is that they tell you how to brew everything from the siphon to the French press, mocha pot, espresso, pretty much any way that you can possibly consider consuming coffee, they have you covered. So the uh, fine folks at Regular Coffee, they have an interesting thing going. I'd like to see where they take it from here, and uh, that's pretty much it. It's your rundown. Now you can check out the rest of the article. And remember, you can always stop over at uh, www.caffeination.com. That's C-A-F-F-I-N-A-T-I-O-N.com. And check out the rest of the information that we have. All right, have a good day.